Hi, welcome to GTS Distribution's Come and Play Day here in Seattle. My name is Rodney Smith from Watch It Played, and I'd like to invite you to join me as we take a look at one of the many games being featured here at this event. So let's go into the Watch It Played room and see what's on the table next. All right, well now we're here with Jennifer, representing Griffin Games, and you've brought something with you. What game is this? This game is called Salmon Run. It is a racing game that plays two to four players. Yes. Um, uses a deck building mechanism. Right. So, um, and it's very thematic. The board itself is modular, so you can make up your river however you want. Right. Make it more difficult or easier for your salmon to maneuver. And, and there's more more boards yeah, than what we're seeing here, right? Right. Okay. You can have, um, in addition to the start and the end piece, you yes. can have up to seven pieces. Okay. Okay. So seven. you can make the game longer or shorter then, right? That yes. Way? Okay. Yep. And so we've got things set up here. we got the start down here on this end of the board, right? Right. And the salmon are traveling. Right? Yes. Up this way towards the spawning pond. Yeah, well, let's talk about some of these cards here. So there are a variety of different cards. I'm assuming you start with some already in your deck, right? right? You, you start with a lot of movement cards in your deck and one bear card. Okay. And as you travel through um, part of your journey, where you, the path you go will enable you to pick up additional cards. Okay. Um, if you land on a spot with one fish, you will pick up a single movement card. Okay, something like that there, yes. right? Yes. And if you land on a spot with two fish, you pick out a double movement card. Right. Um, if you land on a, a rapid space, um, like this one here, then um, you'll pick out a rapids card. And um, so it's pretty much wherever you travel through or stop, even when you get carried backwards by current, if you stop at the same spot again, you, you still get pick to grab up another something? card. Okay. Um, so every time you are, every, every movement you make, if it lands on a spot that will enable you to grab something, you will um, benefit from it. Each turn, you have a hand of four cards. You yes. can play up to three. If all three cards you play are movement cards, you're moving too fast and you get tired. Okay. You pick up um, fatigue card. Okay. Um, jumping over the waterfalls, you get tired, so you pick up a fatigue card right. there. There are specific spots on the board where it's a nap time <laughs> spot. The, the Z's. Exactly, okay. the Z's. Yeah. So then you get tired and you right. pick up a fatigue card there. There are a couple of ways to get rid of fatigue cards. If you um, take a turn to simply rest, you just you don't move, you yes. just play only fatigue cards out of your hand, then you can trash one. One of them will go back to the deck, um, to the oh, okay. pile. Yes, yes. Um, the second way is there are some um, spots with reeds. Oh, and yes. And if yeah, you travel yeah, through yes. them or if you land on them, then you get to, um, again, um, get rid of one or two of the fatigue cards from either your hand, from the discard pile, or even from your deck. Okay. And if you remove them from your deck, you just have to reshuffle the <laughs> sure, deck. Sure, right, randomize it again. Yep. Well, we, we're kind of, it looks like we're kind of in the middle of a game here. We've got a couple salmon that are making their way up. Yes. Would you be able to show kind of like a sample of what you might do on a turn? Yeah, so okay. um, orange salmon is standing in front of the waterfall, and uh, in order to get over the waterfall, we need to play two movement cards. Right. So first, the orange salmon decides to move left, which goes over here onto this spot. Yes. And picks up an ego card and goes into the discard pile. And then it moves forward, jumps over the waterfall, and lands oh, on no. the bear. Okay. So now two things happen. Yes. Um, I jump over the waterfall, so I pick out the fatigue card. Right. And um, I also um, land on the bear, so I pick out a second fatigue card. Okay. Um, Very risky maneuver. It is. <laughs> um, and then I decide not to make another movement because um, I will have to pick out a third fatigue card right. by moving three times. Right. Right. However, I happen to have this current card in my hand. Okay. So I play the current card, and that causes... Um, this white fish um, to fall backwards onto this spot. Okay. And because the white fish gets pushed back into this spot, the white fish gets to pick up a wild card 
movement card. Right, because it landed into, on the W wild space. Okay. Exactly. So that goes into its um, discard pile. And, and it had to move because the current like forces you to go in the direction Dr of the In the arrows. direction of the arrow. Okay, gotcha. And um, in a spot where there are multiple mm -hmm. um, arrows, we will row a die to indicate um, which direction is going to go. Ah goes one direction, even goes okay. the other direction. Okay. Um, so now um, that's the end of the turn. The um, orange has played three cards. Yes. So orange would just draw from its deck up to a hand of four. Okay. Okay. So that is orange's turn, and um, now white salmon will go. So what white salmon is going to do is um, it's going to swim forward first go over here then it's going to um, jump over the waterfall okay. so um, it will play a double swim forward and jumps over the waterfall ends up in here it does go through the w spot so it will pick up a wild card into its um, discard pile it jumped over a waterfall so it got tired got, <laughs> right. got a fatigue card um, and it doesn't um, have to pick up another fatigue card because I've only played, even though I moved three times, yes. but I only played two cards. Right, right. So having double moving cards is a good thing. And then White Salmon decides to play a third card. In this case, it's the bear. So now the Orange Salmon happens to be in the same space um, as White as the bear right now, but yes. if it weren't, you can send the bear to go after the orange salmon. But I want to be safe, so I'm actually going to move the bear further away. Right, so it's not threatening you as well. Exactly. Right. So uh, then that's my turn, and I will draw three cards. A game takes about 20 to 30 minutes, depending yes. on how long the river is right. and um, also how difficult, how windy it is. The more windy it is, the more sideways you have to go. And typically there are more moving forward cards than moving sideways. So um, it you, you just have to kind of run through your deck a few more times right. um, if it's a windy river. and it, takes only a few minutes to actually explain the game yes to um, be able to start playing most of the cards you get are movement cards there are only four non-movement cards sure so if someone was curious about this game and they wanted to learn more where would they need to go to find that out uh, you can find out more information um, from the website yes. which is um, www ego-griffin.com okay um, and there's also a lot of information on board game geek okay as well excellent well listen thank you for taking the time and showing us this i appreciate that and of course i'm glad that you watched as well we'll see you later